So we have apologies received from DAPO and McAleer. Um, are there any other apologies? No, okay, not that we're aware of. All right, no problem. Um, we'll move on to agenda item two, so that's the declaration of members' interests. So just remind members you're obliged to declare any relevant financial um, or other interests during each committee meeting. Um, so I'm just inviting members if they've any declarations of interest to make, if they can make it now. And that includes any proposed APGs or anything. Okay, so we'll move on to the next item of business, and that is agenda item three, the draft minutes of the meeting held on the 24th of February. Um, so can I refer members to the draft minutes of the meeting on the 24th, and that's at page um, six to 12 uh, of the meeting pack. So can I ask members if they're content with the minutes as drafted? Great. Great. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, agenda item four is matters arising, um, and that is our committee uh, development um, program. So um, the contract has been awarded for the professional development sessions uh, on the committee's uh, adjudication role, um, and we've discussed this previously. They're, they'll be run as uh, four to our virtual sessions, and they'll be done via Microsoft Teams and they'll be scheduled just on the usual committee um, meeting days. So we have some dates um, as follows, Wednesday the 19th Wednesday the, uh, of May, sorry, and Wednesday the 9th of June, Wednesday the 16th of June, and Wednesday the 30th of June. Um, so I'm just looking at some feedback from members. Are they content for those sessions to run? Um, <clears throat> we're proposing between 12.30 and 2.30, but you know I appreciate members might want to, Maybe start early or, or, or finish, um, you know, finish earlier as well. So, are members content just with that proposal as it is, or is there any any issues with those times or dates that you want to raise? Fine. We're okay to professionally agree those, yeah. <clears throat> Chair, Chair, from my point of view, uh, the TEO committee starts at two o'clock. Uh, maybe a, a one-off, not too bad, but. If it's three or four, three or four weeks running, it could pose a wee bit of difficulty for me. For me. Mm. Okay. All right. No problem. Um, so you're, it's TEO that starts at two? Yeah, it does. It does indeed. Yes, it does indeed. Um, well, we might look at maybe starting a bit earlier, and then if we can let you away, uh, that will that will free you up, George, then maybe? Yeah. But I, I'll be guided by everyone else. Okay. All right, no worries. Um, okay, well, listen, look, we'll, we'll we'll see if we can accommodate George, but if if not, uh, I think there's a consensus that um, that's yes. it's sort of majority. So we'll we'll take it. We'll leave it at that. Um, all right, so members, we'll move on to agenda item five. That's the all party group um, update. And applications have been received to establish a new APG on the arts, and the registration form for the new APG is in your packs at pages. 15 to 17. Um, under the rules which govern APGs, the committee must consider <clears throat> whether to grant approval for the establishment of new groups. Um, and we may grant recognition um, if, it, if we are content that the proposed group complies with the rules. Um, or we can request clarification um, about the application. Um, so obviously we want to be satisfied that the, the APG um, you know, is in the public interest and it's, it's not been formed to further any particular commercial interest, which um, I don't think I, I, this one is. So can I just <clears throat> advise members that the application appears to have been made um, on an out-of-date form uh, with the result that incorrect descriptions of designation have been provided for some of the members. Um, so members, if you're content to approve the application for the APG subject to <clears throat> the submission of the correct registration forms, um, which indicates the, you know, the, the, the correct designation uh, for members, um, would members be happy to do that? <clears throat> I suppose I should actually declare a, an interest in the possibility I, I, I could be sitting on that just with my own brief um, from a party perspective um, as the spokesperson for culture, art and sport. But are members happy to, to proceed with this, um, to give approval as long as we receive the, the correct um, forms with the correct designations? Yep, Jerry, I have no problem. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Um, so, yeah, anybody else looking in there? 
No. Okay. So, members, um, an application has also been received to establish a new APG on homelessness. Um, and the registration form is in your packs at page 18 to 21. Um, can I ask members if they're content to approve the application for an APG on homeless? homelessness? Yeah. Approved. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, <clears throat> just to advise members as well, the APG on congenital heart disease has um, not had a chairperson in place since last May, um, which obviously is a, an important uh, requirement under the rules. Um, so, we refer members to the draft letter um, in your pack on, on, uh, to the APG on congenital heart disease, and that's at pages 22 and 23 of the pack. Um, so, that just highlights the need for, for compliance just in this regard. Um, so, can I ask, can I seek the committee's approval um, to issue the draft letter to the APG on congenital heart disease? Agreed. Definitely, Chair. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Um, <clears throat> there are uh, other areas where some APGs appear to be um, failing to comply with the rules. Uh, so that you know, including the need to hold annual um, general meetings and to maintain a membership of at least ten MLAs. Uh, while the Secretary has issued reminders, there may be a need for uh, the committee at some stage to intervene. So <clears throat> we'll just bear that in mind as we as we go along. So, if members are content, we're going to move on to the next item of business. So, we need to go into closed session. So, can I just seek agreement um, that we move into closed session for the remainder of the meeting? Agreed. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, I just need to announce the following. This is This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29.